I'm your knight, welcome back to another episode of Sakura Succubus 4. So, we are back on the particular um, farewell on Lady Yu, going back to the Succubus realm. And now, we are just about to complete the rest of the day. And I think we're actually getting close to the end. Um, I don't know if we're getting close to the end at this point, but uh, if we are, that's probably interesting. So, uh, without a doubt, let's get right back into it. The rest of the day passes pleasantly enough after Yu's absence. I go to the beach and get into a sandcastle building competition with Cosmos and Hazel, which Cosmo wins by a large margin. She has a good eye for artistic stuff. It must be because of all those photos she takes. Cosmo takes a lot of victory snapshots on her winning sandcastle and even a few photos of the less than impressive sand palace and Hazel's distinctly disappointed sand mold. My palace, not grandiose enough to be called a castle, was at least to be able to stand up, but uh, Hazel was an utter disaster. It collapsed on itself with an overbaked flan, leaving nothing in its wake but an unshapely pile of sand. The time slips away from us as it won't to doing, and before I know it, the sun has set. The six of us return to AU's beach house to eat Hifumi's delicious cooking, and after our meal, the owner of said beach house settles up to me. Hey, Hiriki. Ayu looks at me concludishly, her eyelashes fluttering. I don't know if you noticed, but it's quite the beautiful night. The stars are shining and the ocean looks dark and mysterious, like a mirror. There's a bit of chill, but it's not too cold. In fact, it's um, rather... Ayu's voice drops to a whisper. Romantic. I've always wanted to go on a starry moonlit walk alongside the person I love, so um, if you're not too busy, then... Hey guys, listen up! Hazel's loud voice interjects, as it won't be doing. During this vacation, she's hauled me out of bed at stupid o'clock in the morning, barges on to me, and you are in a private session, and now is intruding on a you and I. It's almost comical how insensitive she can unwittingly be. But Ayu doesn't look remotely amused. In fact, she's pouting. Can't this wait? I'm trying to talk to Hideki. You can talk to him anytime. I've got something I wanted to share with all of you. And it's super important. I think you all love this new plan of mine. What plan? Marina, who was sitting on the couch with Hifumi, I believe flickering through the television channels, giving Hazel an uneasy side eye. This doesn't involve ghosts again, does it? To Marina's credit, her voice only trembles a little when the dreaded G word comes up. If I wasn't aware of her phobia, I might not even have noticed a small slip up. I wouldn't mind going on another walk into the woods, I confess. I'm quite curious about that shrine. Perhaps we should try to break in? It was secured by a lock, but it must be an old one. I am sure with a bit of finesse I could remove it to reveal all sorts of wonders. The Fumi's eyes lit up. Um, I'm not sure if you're noticing this, brother. I don't think that's exactly what she's thinking there. If eyes have lit up, then that would have been a different story. But this, oh, that is a different story. Perhaps the shrine is full of old and abandoned equipment. I am sure it is filled with a long forgotten treasure, dusty and perhaps, but a great cultural work. Like what? Oh, I don't know. This is only a hypothesis, but I like to believe it's full of items and rituals. Or maybe torture equipment. T torture? Of course your face changes when that happens, you little shit. Okay, now the trimmer in... Marina's voice is palpable. It's funny she, of all people, would balk at the thought of rusty old torture devices, given all she'd done to Hazel, Hazel in AU. But she must make a distinction between humiliation and outright mutilation. 
as sadistic as Marina can be, she never once tried to tear out anybody else's fingernails. Ooh, that sounds kind of cool. Hazel, meanwhile, seems to have no compulsion about torture. I never knew she was into things like that. Do you know much about torture implements, Hifumi? Oh, only a little. I'm interested in human history, no matter how gruesome it may be, and I do like to research. I know that in ancient times, some secluded villages have had peculiar rituals. The residents in these villages worship wrathful gods, and to appease them, sometimes they would. I think that's enough. I am in no interest in hearing any more spooky stories. Thank you, Hifumi. But these aren't stories. These are true tales, sourced by historical documents. I have hard evidence that suggests many centuries ago, the residents of several small secluded villages scattered across Japan would indulge in bloodthirsty practices such as I don't think Marina's instant and for me, maybe you could talk about it some other time. Very well, I will abstain from detailing the nut of my silly interest too much. My apologies, Hazel. Fumi bows her head contrariously. What were you going to say before I was rudely interrupted? Alright? Don't worry about it. I interrupt all the time. We ain't going back to the shrine. At least it's not on my to-do list. Sorry about that, Hifumi. Though we could instead go out all go out into the beach, you see. Hazel grins, then pulls a colorful cardboard box from somewhere. Where is she keeping that, anyways? I think it's too big for a slot into the pockets. I guess I'll chalk up to suck of this magic, but trying to question precise physics or the lack of too much. I brought a whole bunch of fireworks with me, and I thought we could see them set off on the beach. Fireworks? Cosmo stares at Hazel, her mouth agape. You mean the sorts you see at festivals? The big fire flowers which can explode in the air like... <laughs> That's exactly right! I couldn't think of a more fitting description if I tried. I've got a whole bunch of rockets in here. In all sorts of colors, and I brought along some sparklers too. Did you want to give them a go? It's such a nice night. These fireworks show up really well. I want to, I want to. It sounds like fun. Fireworks, huh? I find them rather vulgar myself and not necessarily noise, but I suppose it's not a bad suggestion. Certainly. It is superior to silly test of courage you had us in book upon. If you wish to set these fireworks off, I would always advise I do not trust you do it without setting yourself on fire, Hazel. Fireworks? How lovely! It has been a long time since I last saw them. I would be more than happy to join you. Though my curiosity for the own shrine is yet to be doused. <laughs> Please, if we drop the shrine, I don't want to think of that place. Much less go near it. It's so run down, it's a healthy and safety hazard just waiting to happen. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> if we giggles coyly. I will try to behave. Well, hmm. I would rather spend the night alone with at Hideki's side. But you all sound excited. I wouldn't want to ruin your fun. This is pretty bad timing, but all right, fine. And you internally declares with some forcefulness. We can set up some of the silly fireworks if you want in this summer. After all, just don't expect me to whoop and cheer like an idiot, I'm not a little kid. Then it's decided. Hazel punches fist in the air. Let's go and set these bad boys off. I'm sure it'll be lots of fun. I am going to end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. Also, hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. It's been said, guys. Later.